Hey guys, I'm Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a goals video for 2022. So for 2022, I have three goals that I want to do that um, about my reading. So the first one of those is kind of more of a project than I guess like a goal. And that is every month I would like to read one backlist fantasy by a female author. And so for this project, I am defining backlist as published in 2000 or prior. So I have a list of 12 that I'm using as kind of my jumping off point for this list. I think the thing I'm going to want to hold myself to is more going to be the one per month than these specific 12. So these couldn't end up changing. However, of these 12, three are definitely not going to change because I've already acquired copies of them. So the three that I'm definitely going to be reading sometime next year are A Wizard of Ursi by Ursula K. Le Guin. Crown Duel by Sherwood Smith and this is I think this was technically originally published as two books Crown Duel and Court Duel but it has since been repackaged as one but since like the one book isn't like horribly long I think I'm gonna count the bind of a both as one for that <laughs> and then The Curse of Chalian by Lois McMaster Bujold. So those are three I will definitely be reading and then I have a list of nine others that are my starting off point. So if you have any other books that fit my criteria of female author, fantasy, and prior to 2000 publication that you think I should definitely read that are not on this list, let me know. I started with a list longer than the, this and then pared it down. So there's definitely a couple others that I've definitely heard of and I'm aware of that just didn't make my final list. But if you have any, just let me know in the comments. And if it sounds interesting, I definitely am open to, again, switching out any of these nine with different ones. But the nine I have as my starting off point are Arrows of the Queen by Mercedes Lackey, Swords Point by Ellen Kushner, Dragon Prince by Melanie Ron, Dealing with Dragons by Patricia Reard, Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier, Green Rider by Kristen Britton, Rhapsody by Elizabeth Hayden, King's Dragon by Kate Elliott, and The Curse of the Misraith by Janie Wirtz. So if you have read these, let me know what you thought. And again, if you have other suggestions, definitely let me know and I will check those out. So my second goal for next year is about series and I thought about making a list of series like specific series I wanted to hold myself to finish series I wanted to start but I didn't do amazing on my series I wanted to start video from 2021 if we're being honest and I just couldn't decide which series to put on my like series I definitely wanted to finish in 2022 like I had like one or two and I just like couldn't decide which ones I wanted to commit to so I decided not to do a list and instead I'm doing this again as more of a numbers goal which is right now as of filming this in mid-December I have 48 open series on my spreadsheet and I don't think that number will be going down between now and the end of December. Like, I don't think any of the rest of the books I'm reading in December are series finishers. I don't think, but I could throw something in there. But as of now, at least, I have 48 open series. And so my goal is at the end of 2022, I want that list to be 40 or lower. And obviously that means I'm going to be finishing more than eight series because I'm inevitably going to start some series next year. But I think I would like the final list at the end of next year to be 40 or lower on um, open series and on my list my open series does include ones that I'm caught up on I know some people differentiate those but I include all that on the list of series that I am not caught up on and series that I am caught up on but have been stated as there will be more installation so I definitely have more than eight on this list that can be finished it's not like I have a ton of series I'm caught up on and like two that I can finish there are a ton on here I can't finish so I think getting that number down to 40 or below is definitely doable as long as I like keep keep on myself to actually push and finish series. My last goal is in regards to my physical TBR shelf. So I feel like I have a pretty good handle on like my size of my physical TBR. It tends to oscillate between 50 and 55 every month. It, I'm usually pretty good at keeping it within a reasonable number and not letting it explode. And it all fits nicely on one shelf in my library. So I'm pretty satisfied as far as overall number. But the one thing I do want to work on is reading down the number of books on that TBR shelf that I acquired prior to 2021. Because I just don't want books languishing on there for years and years and years. Because a couple of these I have definitely had for a while. And so most of these books I did get in 2020. So I haven't had them for a super long time. But there are a couple that have had longer than that. So I have 24 books and I took them all off my shelf because I'm going to just show all of them quickly. It's just like, here are all the options. You know, if you're writing them, let me know which ones I should pick up because as with my previous goals, I'm focusing more on the number goal versus a specific reading list goal. So here are the 24 options and I'm planning on hoping to read at least 15 of them next year. So showing them up by genre, I have two mystery thrillers. I have You Are Not Alone by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. And this this one I should really get to because I borrowed it from my mom. And you know, I should just give back. I should get to it so I can give it back to her. But we'll see. <laughs> and then I have Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. Moving on historical, I have three of those. 
First is The Castle of Kings by Oliver Potts. Potts? Then I have Honolulu by Alan Brennert. And Ken Follett by... Earth. And then The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. I think I also borrowed this with my mom, like, like many years ago. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> and then I have one science fiction, which is The Three-Body Problem by Sistin Liu. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and then I have two kind of contemporary slash romance. One is Ties That Tether by Jade E. Garrow. And then the other is Outlander by Dan Gabaldon. And then the bulk of them on this list are fantasy. So I have Twelve Kings of Cherokee by Bradley Beaulieu. The House of the Four Winds by Mercedes Lackey and James Mallory. The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. The Lost Plot by Genevieve Cogman. Jacoby by William Ritter. The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Corey. Driftwood by Marie Brennan. A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kozlov. Last Song Before Night by Alana C. Meyer. Starless by Jacqueline Carey. The Traitor of Baru Cormorant by Seth Dickinson. Tigana by Guy Gabriel K. The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. And Illusion of Beings by Kate Glass. Torn by Rowena Miller. And finally, City of Lies by Sam Hawk. So, let me know in the comments which of those I should pick up first. There is a chance one of these might end up getting picked up in December because I know a couple of these I had listed on my December TBR in my like pile of possibilities for one of the bingo props but I figured I'd leave on this list because I hadn't decided what book to read for that prompt yet so also could not be one of these books so I didn't want to leave one out just in case so and those are my yeah those, so those are my three goals for next year uh, I guess we'll see how I do with them <laughs> yeah so let me know what your reading goals are in the comments and I will see you in my next video